Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. We are releasing this video in October 2018, a few weeks into fall. Summer's over. Why, you may ask, does that matter? It matters because back in June, self-proclaimed investigative journalist Will Potter promised this. Uh, the photos from my drone investigations will be released this summer. That claim did not come to pass. That claim was just the latest in a long line of broken promises by Mr. Potter in connection with his very well-funded but nearly invisible drone program. If you regularly watch shark videos, you know that back in June 2014, Will Potter raised more than $75,000 via Kickstarter for a project he called Drone on the Farm. The idea was that Mr. Potter was going to buy drones and use them to fly over factory farms and expose what goes on. The problem is that it didn't happen in any meaningful way. You can check for yourself by going to YouTube and searching something like Will Potter Drone. We've exposed Mr. Potter's ruse a few times over the past four years. In response, Mr. Potter has made one unfulfilled promise after another about releasing work product to make it seem like things are happening when they are not. Now, Mr. Potter's latest lie is exposed. At Shark, we believe that money raised for animal issues should be used for those issues, and I believe the animals suffering on factory farms would agree. We have prodded Mr. Potter to do what he promised, and in June 2018, Mr. Potter showed that he didn't appreciate the prodding. Steve Hindy is kind of like the Alex Jones of the animal rights movement. Everything is one big conspiracy, and only he sees the world correctly. Only he is out there crusading for justice. Anyone who doesn't agree with him is the enemy. Mr. Potter released a video that included an extended round of baseless claims and nonsensical character assassination against me personally, and worse, against the very good investigators of Shark, any one of whom have done more for animals in a single year than Mr. Potter has in his entire life. Mr. Potter's over-the-top attack against us for telling the truth made me wonder what else he is hiding. I notice that Mr. Potter regularly references his stint with the Chicago Tribune. Here's an excerpt of an interview Mr. Potter did for the website Inverse, which was posted on February 25, 2016. I was in Chicago writing at the Chicago Tribune, covering shootings and murders on the South Side. I was not feeling like I was having any positive contribution to the world, writing about people found dead in alleys and bodies found in storage lockers. Mr. Potter wants to sell himself as an experienced veteran journalist before he struck out on his own to take on public corruption, as if the Chicago Tribune just couldn't contain all his dedicated professionalism. As is the case so often with Will Potter, however, the facts are quite different. Check out this story written by Will Potter. It's an obituary. So is this piece. Here's an article about how heat kept the size of crowds down for 4th of July fireworks. Here's a Potter article about bus service. Here's an article about the Chicago Air and Water Show. Here's one of my personal favorites, Will Potter writing about a fishing rod casting contest. You can't make this stuff up. Here's an article in which Will Potter hypes Shedd Aquarium, Chicago's notorious whale jail exposed by shark in its early days. Fluff pieces for animal abusers. How special. As far as we can tell, Mr. Potter worked for less than two months in July and August of 2002, writing or co-writing 31 articles for the Tribune. That's it. Mr. Potter wasn't a seasoned journalist at the Chicago Tribune. He was likely just an intern. Ten of his articles were obituaries. Fourteen were just local, non-crime news. Mr. Potter did write a few stories about crime in Chicago. We counted five of them. Five articles. They were written based on press releases or police reports, not from pounding the mean streets of Chicago. Will Potter claims he suffers from depression and post-traumatic stress syndrome. 
If that's true, he clearly didn't get it from his very brief stint with the Chicago Tribune. In time, Will Potter may have become an actual reporter, but it appears he wasn't willing to put in the time and effort to get there. Mr. Potter's supporters have been willing to accept excuses for his broken promises time after time, year after year, and I expect that learning about Will's considerable over-exaggeration of his credentials at the Chicago Tribune will mean little to them now. That is their choice to make. Mr. Potter and his supporters are, by all appearances, spectators, not activists. It took me a while to realize this, because empty talk is so foreign to Shark's way of functioning. Shark investigators spend their time and resources in the field, while Will Potter just pretends and lies to cover up the pretense, and his clueless supporters eat it up. I guess it's their choice of entertainment. Mr. Potter's biggest supporter, the organization TED Talks, has criticized Shark for exposing Potter's con job, falsely accusing us of using, quote, aggressive tactics, unquote. This is incredible for an organization that claims to, quote, spread great ideas, unquote. We have simply exposed the truth, and I think that's a pretty great idea. Besides actually working in the field and in the arenas of torture to help animals, Shark has tried to inform animal supporters about scammers who misuse donations. Now, we've done our due diligence in the case of Will Potter, and those who get suckered by him simply have to be written off as willing fools. We can't fix stupid. Please like and share this video. You can subscribe to our channel and see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. I'm Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.